Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a first impressions video on the brand called Models Own, which is sold in Ulta, and it is considered a drugstore brand. I purchased six items today to try out for you guys, and it'll be my first impressions. I've never heard of the brand, nor have I tried these products, so I'm really, really excited to show you guys this video and what I thought about this brand. So I picked up a primer, a foundation, a powder, translucent powder, a powder highlighter. I also picked up a eyeshadow quad and then also a matte liquid lipstick. So if you are curious about any of these products and you've been curious about this brand in general, then just keep on watching. All right, we're going to dive into this review. I have six staple products that I purchased from Models Own sold at Ulta. So I'm going to first prime my skin with the Models Own face primer. And this is a mattifying primer. It's oil-free, fragrance-free, and silicone-based. And I'm not super into silicone-based prim uh, primers only because I have oily skin. I just feel like silicone just seems to want to slide all over my face throughout the day and make me even more oily. So I'm curious to see how this one's going to work. But as far as the packaging goes, it's super nice. Um, I can't bring it forward to the camera because my camera doesn't want to autofocus for some reason it's it just doesn't work <laughs> so um hopefully you can see what it looks like the packaging it's really pretty and then as far as all the boxes go um it has kind of like raised um letters on the logo i love the packaging it's really really pretty so it's nice this primer comes with a pump and i'm going to pump a little bit onto my fingertips and I'm just going to put that all over the face. It feels really nice. It's already starting to mattify, which is great. If you followed me for a while now, you know how much I love mattifying primers and foundations. Make sure I get that everywhere. While that's drying, I'm going to talk about my lashes real quick. Before I went on my trip, I recently got eyelash extensions, and these have been on now, it's been about a week, I think, over a week. And they still look really nice. I mean, they're slowly starting to fall out, but I'm getting a fill on Tuesday, so I'm really excited, and I've been really loving them. I got them done at Love Beautiful Skin by Erin. And she does a phenomenal job there. I highly, highly recommend her. Um, I would not go anywhere else. Uh, they're just very highly trained, highly educated on uh, what they do. So I just wanted to give a little shout out to Erin at Love Beautiful Skin. And you can find them on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and I believe they also have a website as well. But if you have any questions on eyelash extensions, let me know and I will direct you towards Erin for sure because I am obsessed with these lashes. It's been so fun to have them on and I don't have to fuss with mascara or falsies or anything. They just, they're beautiful. I love them. I'm going to go into foundation and this is the Runway Foundation. It's matte and oil free and let me see if I can read something on it here. Okay, it's a runway matte foundation. Get totally even with this weightless matte liquid foundation that will take you from take you seamlessly from AM to PM. Directions say apply with a brush, sponge, or fingertips and build coverage gradually for the girl who likes to work hard and play harder. So let's give this a try. I'm going to personally use a damp Real Technique sponge. I love this sponge. I use this all the time. I'm not a huge fan of applying foundation with brushes. That's just my personal preference. Um, but feel free to try this foundation with a brush. I don't even have a brush that I could even use to apply it. So I'm sorry. This is a very proper review. Uh, but I'm just going to go in with my sponge. So I'm going to just put some of this in the back of my hand. And I'm in the shade Bisque. I think it's going to be a little too light for me. Um, I'm hoping not. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't be too light. Hopefully not. So I'm going to just get some on my uh, damp sponge and start dabbing this in. Yeah, it's a little light, but we'll make it work with some bronzer in a second. Um, so far it's going on okay. It's, 
it's definitely full coverage. I will say that. So if you're someone who likes a full coverage foundation, girl, full coverage. <laughs> For sure. It's it's thicker. It's on the thicker side. I need to run down, down my neck. But it's blending really nicely with the sponge. So if you have a sponge, it'll work just fine if you get this foundation. I'm not typically into full coverage foundations. Um, I like more of a medium coverage just because I like my skin to look and feel like skin. And I don't typically like to cover up my freckles, so I'm not super into full coverage. I'm excited because if this keeps me matte, I'm all about no oil <laughs> for sure. It feels really nice. It's not tacky. It feels super light on the skin. So even though I said it was a thick foundation, it feels really nice to the touch and I don't feel like it's super cakey either, which is a big no-no for me. So I did not purchase their concealer. There was not enough shades there when I went. And then I already have a concealer that I wanted to kind of review for you guys anyway, because I'm literally obsessed with it. And I cannot believe that it's a drugstore concealer. And I love it so much. <laughs> and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I love this concealer so much. Uh, there's no creasing. It gives me awesome coverage. It lasts all day. And I am going to say this right now, which sounds crazy to me, but this definitely beats the Tarte Tape Shape for me. I know, I know everybody loves that concealer, but that one creases on me. I don't know why, because I know it doesn't crease on anybody else, but it creases on me. And when I got a hold of the Wet n Wild one, I was like totally shook that this took the cake for me. Like it works so well and it's so cheap. I think it's like $5, $4, I don't know. And because I could never find a concealer that I like as to why I never would highlight under my eyes, because any concealer I used would be so cakey. It looked like I had so much makeup on and I could not stand that. Like I'd be out with Hunter and we'd be driving in the truck and I'd like look in the truck mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks like I have so much makeup on and I could not stand it. I felt so like dirty. And as much as I love, love, love makeup, I can't stand a overdone face. I just can't, it's my pet peeve. So that's why I'd never really like to highlight. And until I got my hands on this concealer, I'm like, I can start highlight now because it looks, still looks really natural, to me at least. Okay, concealer is done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks with a cream contour, and that is the NYX Wonder Stick. I know I've reviewed this before. It's in my favorites video, I love it. I didn't um, pick up any contouring products from Model Zone, so I apologize for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks super quickly. So I just look back at the footage and I realize like how white my face looks right now on camera. Like me looking at my face in the mirror, it looks like not super pale. And then when I look back at the footage, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a ghost face. So hopefully I'll be able to correct that with some bronzer in just a moment, but just bear with me. I know I look a little crazy right now, but just it's just for the sake of reviewing these products. Not everything might work for my skin tone, but we're gonna roll with it. So I do have the model's own translucent powder. This is what it looks like. The component is super cute. It's got the silver lettering on it and it just pops off like this, which I was, my brain initially wanted to twist it off, but it literally pops off. Whew. And it comes with a mirror, but the mirror is kind of jacked just because I like to put the powder in the lid. So there you go. I'm going to bake with it just to test it out to see if it's uh, a product that would you be able to bake with. So I'm going to put that under my eyes. It smells like old lady, but it doesn't really bother me. We're going to let you we're going to let that bake and while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera only because this product is something I've already used. It's the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and there's no need to review it because everybody knows how awesome this product is. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save some time and just go ahead and do my brows off camera. Okay, so now it's definitely time to bronze up the skin, and I cannot wait because I'm so tired of this ghost face. <laughs> 
So I'm going to go in with the Butter Bronzer by Positions Formula. It is my favorite. It smells like coconuts. I've talked about this in my favorites video. Obsessed and still obsessed. So I'm just going to hit my cheeks with it and my forehead and just really start to warm up the skin because it's so, so pale. Okay, what a difference that a little bit of bronzer did. So I feel like it definitely matches a lot better. And I was able to make that foundation color work. So shout out to bronzer. Okay, so I'm going to pop on some color on my cheeks. This is the Fearless Amazonian Clay Tarte Blush. Still obsessed. I finally hit pan, which is really sad, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pop some of that onto my cheeks. Okay, so now we're going to dive into another model's own product, their powder highlight. This is the Sculpt and Glow Highlight Powder in the shade Peach Pearl, and it has that really awesome pearly, um, Packaging with the silver lettering. This is what comes with a nice mirror, which is fantastic. This is what the highlighter looks like. It's super, super pretty. Um, it looks very pigmented in the pan, so we're going to swatch it really quick. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's subtle, but it's pretty. There's definitely like flecks of purple in there. So let's give this a whirl. It's a contour brush by Real Techniques. I'm gonna get some on the brush and put it on my cheeks. Oh, wow. Hmm. That's really, really pretty. It highlights my pores a little tinty bit, but it's still really pretty. I love the purple sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see that, if it's reading on camera, but. Okay, this is, this is my favorite product so far that I've tried. Even though I'm still loving the foundation, the powder was not bad. I forgot to talk about that actually. The translucent powder, it did have some pigment to it. There was like a banana, like yellow undertone to it, um, but I still liked it. And we're gonna talk about all that at the end. Um, but so far the powder highlight is my favorite for sure. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, Cupid's bow. Okay, model's own. My favorite. I'm gonna use this a lot. I'm liking it, I'm digging it. Okay, so, so far for model's own, we used the primer, we used the foundation, we used the powder, and we also used the highlight. So, that is four products down, two products to go. So, Everything's done as far as the base, so we're going to move on to the eyes. Okay, so to move on to the eyes, I want to give this eye I want to give this eyeshadow quad a fair shot. So I definitely want to use a primer on the lid. I did not purchase a model's own primer, but I'm going to just use some of that Wet n Wild concealer as primer. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. So in this quad, this is called the Chocolate Minx Quad, and it looks like this, super pretty. So there's a matte shade right here, and then there is kind of a rose gold copper color. There is like a burgundy shimmer color, and then there's a bronzy shimmer color. These three are shimmers, this one's matte. And um, I was drawn to it, I thought it was really pretty and I did not want to commit to a bigger uh, eyeshadow palette, so I guess I chickened out. But I thought this quad was super pretty so I can't wait to play around with it. Now, clearly there's not a transition shade in here, so I'm going to grab my Jaclyn Hill palette 
and I know that I've been wanting to do a review on this palette and I just haven't gotten around to it but I have been using it a lot I love this palette oh, I love this palette so much I'm not gonna do a review on this only because there's a million videos on this palette um, with swatches and trials and all that good stuff all I'm gonna say is I think it's a perfect staple palette only because there is cool tones, there's warm tones, there's shimmers, uh, there's mattes. Uh, so there's just a good variety of shades in here. So if you're looking for a palette that, ha that gives you pretty much everything, it would definitely be this palette by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. So um, shout out to Jaclyn Hill. I know this has been around a minute, but it's still an amazing palette. My only only complaint which is I hate saying this because it's such a bomb palette the only thing I would say is I wish there was a matte highlighting color for the brow because I don't normally like to put a highlight on my brow bone I'm just not that girl I like putting a matte um, cream white color there so I just wish there was um, these colors in matte options but that's the only complaint I would have on this palette Okay, for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and take a shimmer shade to highlight my brow bone. And I'm going to take this shade right here on just a little flat, it's like a little sculpting brush. And I'm going to put that right underneath my brow. And then we're going to move on to our trans transition shade. And I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here. And I'm going to build that into the crease. The crease. So I'm just going in windshield wiper motion, circular motions. Just go, just getting that color into the crease. Just warming up the eye, giving the eye some depth before we go ahead and put one of those colors onto our lid. I think I'm going to go into, okay, I need to compare colors with this matte lipstick that I'm going to put on. I think I'm going to do the shade right here, more of like the bronzy color. Um, I know the copper would go better with the transition color we have in our crease, but I think the red is going, the red lipstick is going to go better with this right here. So, um, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. I think I'm going to wet my brush before putting it in there just because when I swatch them, they're pigmented, but not super like in your face. I'll go ahead and swatch them right now on my arm here. So here's the creamy matte shade. And underneath is that copper color, which is, it's still pretty, pretty pigmented. Then we have the bronzy, more bronzy shade underneath there. And last but not least, it's the burgundy color with flecks of purple in the shade right there hopefully you guys can see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a flat synthetic brush like this I'm going to wet it with some setting spray this is by wet and wild I've really been enjoying the setting spray and all the wetness is going to do that sounds really gross um, just getting your brush wet and dipping it into a shimmer or a metallic, you're just going to really make that color pop on your lid. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that onto my brush. Again, it's going to be this shade right here. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. It's pretty. It's like I said, it's not super in your face, but it's not terrible either. It's actually really pretty. 
It's a really pretty color. I'm going to have to blend the two colors together. I like it. And now I'm actually, the more I'm looking at it, I'm seeing some like flecks of like army green in there too. Okay, so I didn't wet my brush on this side and I'm actually liking it a lot more than I didn't wet the brush versus this side. So actually, you don't need to wet your brush with this quad here, which is a plus for sure. I should have put this matte color onto my brow bone. Oh, that stinks. I didn't even think to, to do that, but that's okay. Um, but so far, so good. I love the shade, so I'm sure I'm going to love those two colors as well. And I'm going to finish the eye off with taking some of that transition color that we used earlier. And I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. just to warm up the lower lash line. So I'm really digging these fall vibes right now with the, the warm tones and the bronzy colors. So um, I actually love how this eye turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some mascara on my lower lash line and then we'll move to the lips. So I'm not sure how this color is going to look with this whole um, get up I have going on right now but for the sake of the video we're gonna try out this liquid lipstick and this is their Lix matte liquid lipstick in the shade candy cane it's in the frosted glass component which I think is super pretty sorry I'm getting mascara and gunk over everything um, if you saw my makeup collection you'd probably cry because it's literally a disaster <laughs> Oh, so it definitely smells like candy canes or peppermint, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this color on. Okay, so this is the completed look using the model's own products. And now it's time for my final thoughts. Um, so, primer. So far, the primer, everything's working. I mean, I can't give you a total, like, perfect review because obviously I wasn't able to wear this out. But so far, when I'm just looking at it, um, it's been, it's been on for over an hour now. And typically, I get oily, like, right away. And there is no oil from what I can see. So, the primer and foundation is definitely a win for me. As far as the primer and foundation, I think they're wins for me. I I like a matte finish, and if you're someone who is oily and is looking for a good matte foundation, I really think that these two are a great options. The powder, the translucent powder, definitely baked well for me. Usually um, drugstore powders tend to want to crease and get gunky under my eyes and collect there, and this one did not do that. Uh, so I will give the powder a thumbs up. I'm gonna keep using it, but my first impression is I did really, really like the translucent powder. Next is the powder highlighter, which you guys already knew right away. I loved this highlighter. It's in the shade Peach Pearl, and I definitely am picking up more purple in it than peach but I loved this powder highlight. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And it's definitely a highlighter that I will definitely use. So that was also a win for me. So I'm glad that the products that I did pick up, I really am liking. Um, next is the eyeshadow quad um, that looks like this and it's in the colors Chocolate Minx. 
and again I used this shade on my lid today and I really 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 liked it and these two I probably will love just because I'm sure all of them will work the same and when I swatch them on my arm they all swatched beautifully so I will definitely give this little eyeshadow quad a thumbs up as well okay and lastly is this liquid lipstick in the shade candy cane um, this is a big no for me I can already feel how uncomfortable it is laying on my lips um, it's definitely drying like it's literally like building up in the corners of my mouth like this is a big fail for me so that is all of the products as a whole models own is definitely a thumbs up for me I really really enjoyed most of the products that I tried I now that I know that I love these products I definitely want to go back and try some more products um, like a bronzer or a blush or perhaps contour products uh, I would definitely try some of those but yeah okay so that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and keep a lookout for my Halloween tutorial coming out next week and I might drop a hint maybe this week on, weekend on what it's going to be but I'm so so excited to finally do my first Halloween tutorial so keep an eye out for that and have an awesome week and I will see you in my next video bye guys